So please give a TEDx Gray Street welcome to Bryce Lyle. Hi, uh, my name is Bryce Lyle, and I, I uh, am a public school teacher, and I live in a neighborhood called Westover Hills, uh, just at the south end of the Nickel Bridge, right across the river from the big black blob that is Bird Park. Um, and a funny thing happened to me in Westover Hills about two years ago when I had a baby. I realized that there were babies everywhere, um, <laughs> which I didn't realize. You know how, you, know how you, you don't really think there are that many green cars until you buy a green car, and then like every car on the road is green. That's what happened with me and babies. As soon as I had a baby, I realized that my street was crawling with babies, and my whole neighborhood was crawling with babies, and it got me really excited because that's the kind of street and block and neighborhood I want to live in, where my daughter grows up with her friends and her neighbors, and you know, we all hang out. And that's not really the kind of neighborhood that I grew up in, but I'm really excited about it. But the problem is, in my neighborhood, in Westover Hills, kids don't grow up together. They just grow up at the same time, because nobody in my neighborhood goes to the same school. If you drive down any, if you just pick a block and drive down any block in my neighborhood, you'll see like five or six different stickers for schools uh, on, the, on the cars. You know, there are a couple public schools that people go to, you know the ones. And then there are a bunch of different private schools, but nobody in my neighborhood in Westover Hills sends their kid to Westover Hills Elementary School. And that really bothers me, like in a really real deep way. And so when my daughter was old enough to go to the playground, I started talking to parents on the playground. I said, hey, why doesn't anybody in our neighborhood go to our neighborhood school? And the most common answer that I heard was, well, it's a bad school. And that really bothers me in a real way, because as a teacher, I don't really believe in bad schools, right? Because I know there are good teachers at every school doing good work. And I know we all want our schools to be better. Everybody wants their school to be better, even, even good schools. You know, but, and so I don't really believe in that. And it also hurts me in a really real personal way, because I went to Westover Hills. <laughs> Because I grew up in this neighborhood. I grew up in Forest Hill, which is like right beside Westover Hills, and it's almost impossible to distinguish between the two. And, and when people hear that, they say, you went, oh, you went where? Oh, oh but it, it was a really different school back then, because, you know, it's, it's not very diverse now. And it's true, it's not very diverse. It's the Westover Hills Elementary School population is about 87% African American. It's like 83, 84% free and reduced lunch. So it is somewhat isolated, but that's what it was like when I went there. And I was in a really small minority, but I still learned, right? And I learned a lot more, I think, because I went to school with people who weren't exactly like me, and that's what I want for my daughter. I want both of those things. I want her to go to school with the people who live in her neighborhood and could grow up in community, and I want her to go to school with people who are different from her so she can learn from those experiences and they can learn from her and we can build what I would call a diverse school, right? And we have that opportunity in Westover Hills, and we're not doing it because everybody says, well, it's a bad school. And when I ask people, I say, so what, what makes it about a bad school? What do you know about it that, that's bad? And, and they say, well the, well, the test scores are bad. To which, of course, I say, oh, so you, you believe in SOL tests as a good <laughs> measure of, oh, no, 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 no. SOL tests are terrible. SOL tests are terrible, you know? I don't, we don't believe it. But that's what you're using to measure. Well, you know, that and other things. L like what? So, you know, I, I never really got a good answer for what makes it a bad school. And I say, well, you know what people say. And I'm like, well, one, I don't know what people say, and I don't really want to know what people say, because I just want to know what's true. So my wife and I sat down with the principal, and we talked to her, and she was great. And she was just, this was a year and a half ago, she was just finishing her second year there, so she was new, and a lot of the staff was new, and they had a new playground, they had a new tennis court. And, I, and I, we were just really excited. Even, you know, I liked her, my wife liked her, my wife doesn't like anyone. Uh, just kidding, I love, I love you, <laughs> honey. Um, it was great, it was a great meeting, and we left really enthused and really excited, and we said, we've got to go talk to people about this. So we went out on the playground again, and we said, hey, you know, we met with the principal, and she's really great, and it's, it's exciting energy, and, you know, we got a new playground, and I got a new tennis course, and people say, wait, 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 you talked to the principal? Like, like you talked to her? Like, where did you, how did, how did you, where was she? And I said, well, I called her, <laughs> and she invited me into her office, and we had a really nice talk, and, you know, nobody, I've yet to meet a single family in Westover Hills who decided to send their kid to another school after they visited Westover. Nobody even goes over there. So... About January of last year, I met a new neighbor that I really like who's really on board with this, and her name is Paige. And the cool thing about Paige is her son was four turning five. My daughter was only one turning two, so she was actually in it. Right? So when we met and we connected, she met the principal. She went on the school tour. She thought it was great. 
And she started telling people, we're sending our son to kindergarten at Westover, and that changed everything. Right, and Paige and I, knowing the principal and knowing what the school was like, said, we've got to change the conversation in the neighborhood. So we had this event at our local coffee shop where we invited the principal and she brought some staff to our neighborhood. And a bunch of people, we, we thought we'd have like 20, maybe 30 people, and we had like 60 people show up. And it was awesome, and it built some buzz. And we started a Facebook group to get people able to talk to each other about their school decision before they send their kids to school instead of after, when they're like, oh, yeah, that would have been kind of cool. And then we worked with the principal... <laughs> to promote some events in, that were already happening at the school, like their drum circle night and their art night, and we invited the neighbor. These were things they were already doing, but we didn't know. Nobody in the neighborhood knew, so we invited people from the neighborhood, and we had families go there. We um, helped with their carnival, and we built up the carnival in the neighborhood to get some people to come. We turned our uh, neighborhood association annual meeting into a forum on schools where we invited the school board uh, member and our principal, and we had like 75 people come to that. It was the biggest neighborhood association meeting anyone could remember. And it was great. Um, and so we were building this up, and we started this Facebook group called Curious About Westover. And it's really exciting, and it's spreading. And not, not even two weeks after the first event we ever had at the coffee shop, I got an email from a complete stranger in Battery Park. I'd never met her. And she said, I heard what you're doing at Westover. And I said, what did you hear? We haven't done anything. And she said, we want to get involved at our local school, Jeb Stewart. And, and now, that was in March, and now her son goes there in the, uh, the preschool program. And just a couple weeks ago, a friend of mine in Bird Park started a similar Facebook group to get neighbors and parents in his area interested in Cary. And so it's happening. We know people in Chimborazo. It's happening in schools all over. And it's really exciting. And this year, this fall, we had three neighborhood kids enroll in kindergarten. And we had uh, about five or six neighborhood kids in the pre-K program. Um, so it's really positive. We've got 240 people on the Facebook group. We've got like 170 people on the email list. And there's a positive buzz about Westover Hills Elementary School in Westover Hills for the first time in a long time. And so it feels good and we feel glad, but it's still kind of hard. You know, it's really hard because we have three kids in kindergarten, but about mid-August we thought we might have six or seven. But a lot of those families kind of changed their mind or they got lottery tickets. They got winning lottery tickets late in the game and change their mind. And so that's really hard, you know, emotionally, especially for the people who are in it. And it's really hard to hear what some of our neighbors have to say when we talk to them. We're talking about this all the time, and our neighbors say crazy things like, well, you know, I, I would send my son, but I have a daughter. And, and you say, wait, what? You know, and then they say things <laughs> like, you know, they talk about the diversity and lack thereof and how that makes them uncomfortable. And they don't want to send their kids there. And they say, well, you know, it's not about race, it's about class. To which my answer is always, wait, wait, what? Like, what you, wait. I, d I don't know how to answer that. I don't know what that even means. Like, I, it's really confusing. So, you know, there's a challenge in talking about this. It's not easy. It's not really that fun to always talk about. But once it gets going, people want to talk about it all over the city. People, uh, as was alluded to earlier, people talk about schools and their need for change. And we're really excited about what's going on at Westover. And we found that the way to get excited about your local school is to go meet the people who are there, right? Meet the principal and the teachers because it's awesome. It's better than you think. No matter what school the neighborhood is involved in, it's better than the people in the neighborhood think. And we found that the way to get the neighborhood excited about it is to just change the conversation. And the way to really get invested in the school is to just go there. And so that's what we're going to do in Westover. We're just going to go there. And here's a picture from our carnival that I think shows what we're trying to do. Thank you very much.